After the poets left, the palace physician brought medicine to the emperor. Pat Therese, a Malay Amman daughter, took it with her own hands and gave it to her husband. Till then the little Pavatarayar, who had been waiting patiently, went near the emperor, pulling Vandiyadeva without letting go of his hold. Lord! Do you see any benefit from the new medicine? He asked. The doctor says I see results, the goddess says so, but I have no hope. To tell you the truth, commander. All this seems like a futile effort. My destiny is calling me. I think Yama has gone to the ancient land in search of me. When he finds out that I am not there, he will come here in search of me. Lord! You shouldn't talk like this. You shouldn't make us all upset like this. Their clan ancestors. He also got the name. I am not a Shiva devotee like him, I have become unable to perform Sthaliyatra. How many days will I lie like this? A burden to everyone who belongs to me, but something inside my heart tells me. I won't be on this earth for long. Emperor. The palace physician says there is no danger for them. The soothsayers also say there is no danger. But this little boy was telling them of some danger. Ah! Is this the boy from the city of Kanchi? Yes, he said there was some danger, what did you say, brother? About my condition. Valaveria's brain worked at lightning speed. If he admits that he warned about the danger, he is sure to be exposed to suspicions and danger. To escape from that predicament. Good, let's try a trick. Let's use grammar as a guide to make the nettle more memorable. Lord Emperor! Who am I to speak of danger? What danger can come when our valiant commander Chinapalyavatere, the palace physician, and Queen Savitri are present? Abiyam, Abiyam, I appealed to them. I am an ignorant boy now left as the representative of the old monkey clan. I have come to the Chola Empire to please the heart of their Redeemer. Please grant me the grace to return at least a small part of our old native kingdom to the servant. O oh King! Danger! Danger! This ignorant boy is their danger! Then Valavarayan stopped talking in a panic. Hearing this, the face of Palyavatarayar shrunk. Sundara Chola's face blossomed again. The Maharani's face was filled with compassion. As soon as this child was born, Goddess Saraswati wrote on his tongue. His eloquence is amazing. Said Devi. Vandiyathevan said that this is the time, Mother. You must intercede for me and say a word. I am a fatherless orphan, I have no other support. I must make my request known. You must intercede for me as a devotee intercedes for Parvati Devi Paramashiva and Lakshmi Devi Mahavishnu. In our native state, a ten I will be more than satisfied even if I give back the village. He said. Sundara Chola was both surprised and happy to hear all this. He looked at the young soldier and said, Commander. I like this young man very much. From the look on Devi's face, it seems that she is thinking of adopting him as her third child. Can we fulfill his request? There is nothing difficult about it. What is your opinion? Said. What place is there for the servant's opinion in this? Should I know the opinion of Prince Karagalar? Said the Tanjore Fort Commander. Emperor. If you ask the prince, he says you should ask Pavu Urthavar. Pavu Urthavar says you should listen to the prince. My request between the two. Boy. Don't worry. Let's keep the two together and listen. Said the emperor. Then he looked at the little boy and said, Commander. This child has brought the leaf from the prince. Adithan has written on the leaf that I should come to Kanchi as before. He has built a new golden house there. I must stay in it for a few days. Said. They do their will, somehow. Said the fort commander. Ah. You will do my will one way or another. But my legs refuse. Traveling to Kenchi is an impossible task. I am disgusted at the thought of going on a pilgrimage like a palanquin with a palanquin draped like a palanquin. I must write another letter so that Aditha Kari Kalan can come and leave here. 
Can the prince leave Kanji and come here now? Our enemies in the north are still strong. Parthipendra and Malay Aman will take care from there. Something in my heart tells me that the prince should be here by my side right now. Not only that, I should also send a call to Ilongo, who has gone to Elam, to come here immediately. I want to discuss an important matter with both of them. Aromazai is here. You may also convey to him your objection about sending food to the Elam force when it arrives. Emperor. Forgive me. I did not object to sending food to Elam. Neither did Thanatani Adakari. The citizens of the Chola country objected. The harvest in the Chola country was reduced. When there is not enough for our own people, the people object to sending rice by ship to Sri Lanka. Now they are muttering under their breath. After a while, the people's clamor will be heard. Stronger. Their cries will be heard even within this palace to affect their health. Aromazai will never want to do something that the citizens object to. For all that, let him come here once and leave. When the great minister arrives, we can decide to send someone to Ceylon, when is he coming back? He must come tonight. Let's write a letter to Kanji tomorrow. Can't we also give the letter to this child? This boy has come from Kanji in one breath. Let him stay here for a few days and rest and leave. Let him give the straw to someone else. Do so. He may stay here until the prince comes. At this time the daughter of Malay Aman stood up and said, Today I have made it difficult for them to talk for too long. I am sorry. It has been too long until the goddess warned. He said that. Commander. This child is our guest. Make him comfortable. If only the emperor was healthy, he could have asked him to stay in his palace. Said Malayaman's daughter. I'll take care of you, mother. You don't need to worry about that. I'll take good care of you. Said the small gardener. Then unconsciously one of his hands touched his mustache and twisted it. 